Wolfman here. Welcome to sparring number four, narrated sparring. Make sure to check out one, two, three, and all the rest. I hope you enjoy it. Here I am in Korea taking on the Korean zombie. I believe we grappled the day before. I believe this is the second day. Now, MMA sparring. We both did one uh, one round with someone else. And now we're about to spar each other for the first time. MMA style, obviously controlled with MMA gloves. So they do hit hard, harder to the face than purposely missing the face like in Japan. So they have a perfect level of small glove sparring. Here you see me blitzing and switching and doing my stuff. He goes for a takedown. I defend. Need that liver. See that theme all the time. Need that liver. He shoots again. Too far outside. Frame the neck. Go behind. And there I could have put body weight on him, but that's just not too fair. So back up again. Inside calf kick one, two. Look at my head movement, my parries, my blocks. See a lot of stuff that, I don't know, is that 52? Is it Kung Fu? What's going on over here? Look at that low kick. Jab, fake long hook, step into the outside, low kick. That's in cluster number one for a very good reason. In my Neo striking system, you're seeing examples in all these narrated sparring videos. It's got a tight waist here, but I'm not really going with power. I'm just... Loading my weight in the right areas and loosening it in others. Switch punch uppercut across. All shifting. Nice angle switches. He does that a couple times here. Gets a nice angle switch shift to land from the outside gate. Both I parried. Check that out. Liver kick lands. I think that was a fake hook to liver kick. Another shifting punches. We both land there. I land on myself. Make sure my nerves are getting used to it. I land yet another low kick. Those parries. Sweep attempt gets me into the over under. Need that liver. Kick off the wall as soon as I sensed my spidey sense that we were near it. Driving those hips in. That way, if someone grabs a plum clinch, they're not going to land a knee. You got to drive in. I had to do that to Verdun once when he tried to take my head off. Parried both of those pretty well. And a dart punch to knee tap. Get him down. Going to three-quarter mount. Oh, nope. Backstepping to pass to side mount. Could land some downward elbows there, showing them that. And now time for some knee to the body and some shoulder punchy. Two, three, four, five. Some hammer fist time. Just to get away, top turtle, and I... Oh, take the back here. He tries to sit out. I'm back on top. He gets the underhook, but I bang my thumb and re-crack my broken thumb into the ground. So, ouch. That really hurt. These are the things that you go through training. So you want to be an MMA fighter. Well, x-rays and bone scans years later, all the CT, it's not so great. But boy, training is sure fun and very very hard on the professional level when you might do calisthenics and 20 rounds of sparring day in and day out. Say, so, okay, let's start back down. And, well, he cheats. <laughs> I don't blame him, give him the size difference. He doesn't want to be on bottom. He's looking for a north-south joke. Zombie versus Wolfman. Uh-oh, he's setting up an armbar. He did the same thing the night before and couldn't get me if you look at the grappling footage. I'm blocking with my knee because he's in a short armbar style, trying to break my grip, and my knee's up high so he can't get that other foot in. He just attempted that. But now I try the hitchhiker escape, and I mess up, and that gives him the space to get the other leg over. And if there wasn't a side size difference, I felt he would have officially tapped me, so I tapped. You know, you can go pretty hard my size at this time with guys 170 over, but under 170, you got to definitely 
tone things down a bit. Oh, that calf kick ruins his day. Me calf kicking back in the day. This is quite a while ago. This is three years. I think three years or two or three years before any UFC commentary. There's another calf kick ever even said calf kick. Meanwhile, I had articles and videos in 2012. Dip high kick misses. Back hammer there. Look at the back hammer sometimes, guys. Landing out of positions, true MMA style. Look at those inside seven parries. Front kick to the chin, letting him know I can pull that off. Oh, cross hook cross. Head kick would have ruined his night. Good night, Irene. Parry that front kick. Look at that nice angle shift there. So I had to bring up the parry hand and shy away from the shoulder. That was a very nice angle shift there. That liver kick lands. So I want to thank Korean Zombie for having me out. Fake overhand dip high kick doesn't land. He gets the underhook of there. Some back hammers. Missing those uppercuts. Liver kick again. You see my period game was on point. Now is it full speed because it's not boxing gloves? I don't know. But kind of true MMA flowing from one thing to the next. Cross, uppercut, back hammer. Uh, now, guys, this was after or towards the end of him doing his military service for a couple years. So, like, his kick defense didn't seem on point, but he maybe hadn't really been sparring for only a couple weeks back. And look at that raised elbow wing block there slash elbow you in the face at the end of the round. So, anyway, guys, please share, subscribe. Dan the Wolfman vs. Korean Zombie. Where are you getting this? Check out the other narrated videos and learn my cluster fighting system coming up. Thank you.